for both of you guys getting after Schrader, bothering him, doing what you guys did to him, having seen him in past seasons. Just talk about the effort of the defense against him specifically. Um, we really we just be uh, out there following the game plan. You know the plays, Coach Fuller call. It's our job to go out there and execute. And um, the plays that you've seen us have success on, that just was all of us doing our job out there, the DBs, D linemen. And uh, that's the rushing pass covers um, working together. So that's all I got to say about that. Josh, uh, if you could talk about the, the strip sack and uh, did you think you guys were going to score there and just how, how well the defensive line played today? Um, I think we played really good. Um, before the game, we didn't, we said we didn't want to do nothing special. We just wanted to play real hard and run to the ball. Those are the only two things we said we did. And uh, the, the script side, I didn't know I scripted. I didn't know I scripted. So when I turned around, I seen Verse got tackled. And I was like, dang, I scripted. I didn't do nothing special. I just did what I was supposed to do by Coach Hagan. So. For Shaheem, you've had a few really nice games in a row now. I guess, can you explain? That, are you getting more comfortable? I guess, what's, what's happening in your play kind of keep getting better each week? Uh, like I said before, just trusting the guys I'm out there on the field with, not not trying to overdo my job. Like Josh says, just doing what I'm coached to do, uh, run to the ball. And if you're giving effort in football, you know, the play is going to find you. So um, that's, that's really what happened right there. Hey, we can, we can hear you. When, um, Coach Norvell said you guys did a better job today of – when the other team made a play or, or got a drive going, you guys didn't let them cap, cap, cash in. Um, was that a big emphasis this week? And what do you, why do you think you guys were able to do that? Um, this uh, this week, like the, we had a word. It was called fight. So um, and I know in the D line room, we said every inch counts. So we didn't we didn't want them in our end zone. That's what happened. So that's what uh, we. One thing I can uh, piggyback off that, um, you know. Coach Norvell and Coach Fuller, you know, they, they put a big emphasis on us. Like, the defense haven't played a whole complete 60 minutes yet. Um, so, like he said, that the focus today was just fight, you know, fight for what we want, fight for what we know we can be, and, and that's what happened today. Shaheem, Coach Norvell mentioned the different looks that Syracuse uh, shows a defense. How did you feel the communication went from your perspective? It seemed like things were a lot smoother than it was early on in the year. It was an, it was an elite level of communication today, you know, and you've seen it. You know, it wasn't really no hesitation out on the field. It wasn't no confusion, no argument. Um, so when we communicate, as you've seen them today, can't nobody really mess with us. So. Talk about the mobile quarterback today in Schrader. Um, you guys have gone against mobile quarterbacks before. Castellanos at Boston College, Daniels at LSU, and then you know go go up against Jordan in practice. Do you guys coming into this game? Did you feel like you know you were prepared for the mobile threat that was going to come and just I guess shutting him down on the day? Um, I felt like we was more than prepared. Um, just like we said, we practiced with Jordan Travis every day, so he was pretty easy to contain. He was not special. Just did our job. D line did their job. DBs did their job, and we was able to touch him a couple times. It's now like halfway through the season. You guys are six and zero. Um, do you feel like you guys are getting closer to how good you can be uh, after this performance? Um, yeah, uh, I feel like that was our best game defensively. Yeah, so um, I know we're gonna get better. Uh, we're gonna get a lot better as the season goes. I know the D line's getting better as the season goes. You're starting to see more, more plays in the backfield. Uh, we're rolling right now, and I think it's gonna continue. Uh, it's always good, you know. I'm in there with my brother, you know, who I'm with every day. So, you know, just 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 having fun, you know. That that was that's what, that's one thing Coach Sertan tell us, and that was that's just a fun moment right there. With me and my brothers, you know, we work all hard Monday through set Friday, and you know, just to take that deep breath and you know enjoy each other. That's that's a great feeling. Josh first, and then Shaheem. You know, in this day and age, this game, this sport is set up for the offense to be able to score points. And the fact that you guys are able to lock down these teams, power five teams, conference teams that you see year in and year out, I mean, does this display and show, maybe not only that you guys are dominant, but what you're capable of if you do put 60 minutes together at some point? Um, I think it will be crazy if we, if we, when we do, not if. But uh, I just feel like as long as we lock in and just stay focused and keep our head down and keep working, it's going to happen. Um, 
coach mentioned Shaheem that um, you got to break the rock with Keon today as well. I guess what did it feel like for you know two people to be able to do it? Um, well, like I said, you know, it's um, it, Keon. He had a great game. You know, I, um, I don't know how many yards he had, but you know, he he got a lot of all-purpose yards. You know, the punt returns and stuff. But um, that's just two highlighting two guys that just gave great effort tonight. You know, it, it was more than us two that just you know, if I, let me tell it, the whole team could have broke the rock. You know, so it's just normal. You know, you just gotta enjoy it. That's it.